All right, students, I'm back. Okay, uh, second video lessons of the year. For some of you, you might watch, watch this video first, so that might be your first. But anyway, this is going to be the second video lesson of the, of the year, okay? Today, we're going to learn about photosynthesis. Now, what is photosynthesis? You learn, you learn in P3 uh, different functions of uh, plant parts, right? And leaves, one of the functions of leaves is that leaves make food. Okay, so photosynthesis is basically the name, the pro, uh, name of the process for leaves to make food. Okay, photosynthesis is the process where leaves make food. Okay, right down here, process, if you can see, process for leaves to make food. Okay, it's called photosynthesis. All right, please. Remember how to spell photosynthesis, not too difficult. Photosynthesis. All right, so photosynthesis is a process for leaves to make food. Now, in order for photosynthesis to occur, there's going to be a few conditions required. We all know that uh, sunlight is the, or rather sun is the main source of energy. Okay, and plants need the sun as well, or rather plant needs the sunlight or the light energy from the sun as part of the condition, one of the condition required for plants to make food. Okay, let, we are going to go through the condition for plants required to make food. Or rather the condition for photosynthesis to occur. Now in order for photosynthesis to occur, firstly, what plants do need or leaves is number one. Okay, I'm going to just put out here, of course, sunlight okay or light in general you need light energy okay light in general okay now uh before i go on um you learn in p3 as well what makes plants green okay it's this substance that's found in leaves called the chlorophyll Please know how to spell chlorophyll, all right? Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll are green substance found in leaves that traps sunlight. Okay, so chlorophyll traps sunlight and uh, so one of the conditions is light. Okay, and chlorophyll found in the leaves helps to trap sunlight. What else is needed for photosynthesis in order for photosynthesis to occur? The next condition is carbon dioxide. Plants also need carbon dioxide in order to make food. And where, where can you plants get carbon dioxide from? Okay, from the surrounding because we know that uh, and the underside of leaves, okay, you learn in P5, contains tiny openings called the stoma for single opening or stomata. Okay, stomata is a tiny openings where gases, there's an exchange of gases for the plants. So carbon dioxide enters the plant through the stomata. And lastly, the third condition, okay, required, let me just write down here, right, conditions. Sunlight, carbon dioxide. The condition is. Let me see if you can guess this. Start with the letter W. Wanna play hangman? Some of you got T. E. You got it? Yes. Water. Alright. So these are the three conditions required in order for photosynthesis to occur. A plant requires uh, sunlight. Um, carbon dioxide and water in order for plants to make food. So what happened during a photosynthesis is that after the plants uh, obtain sunlight, carbon dioxide and water, what produces, see these are all going in right? What comes out is of course uh, or rather being produced is food. Okay, which is also known as sugar, right? 
produce. Through the processed photosynthesis, produce food, sugar, and also very interestingly, oxygen, which is released back into the surrounding through the stomata, oxygen released back to the surrounding. So in photosynthesis, ox carbon plants absorb carbon dioxide through the somata and releases oxygen. Okay, you got it? It's not too difficult, right? So photosynthesis is the process for plants to make food. And in order for that to happen, okay, plants need light, okay, which chlorophyll found in leaves helps to trap the sunlight so it needs light it gets it's uh, carbon it gets carbon dioxide from the surrounding which is absorbed through the stomata all right enters sorry enters the plants through the stomata okay and lastly of course requires water so when all these conditions are present photosynthesis occurs and it will in turn produce food sugar okay which is sugar and oxygen okay so now I'm going to write down here you're going to help me fill in the brackets here with presence sorry with presence of light okay light what is required and what will be produced. Are you able to fill in the blanks? Okay, can I give you five seconds for this? Oh wait, before that, I should erase all this. Mm -hmm. Let me just erase all of this. Ready? Five. Four, three, two, one. You got the answer? Okay. So let's view in the first blank. Water. Second one. Hope you all got the answer here. All right. Carbon dioxide. Okay, with the presence of light, so conditions all met, water, carbon dioxide, light, all met, what is produced? Okay, food, which is sugar, and of course, oxygen. So here we got it, the process of photosynthesis. Now, Suppose if I were to change the question a little bit, let's see if you are able to get the answers too. Let me just draw a leaf here. Huge leaf, right? Uh, connected to a, a tree or a plant, okay? Huge leaf. Okay, I'm gonna show this diagram looking like that. This is A looking like that this is B okay this is stem and looking like that this is C and one more arrow this is D I'm going to draw the sun here light if you see a diagram like this what can you tell me what does this diagram shows uh, what process does this di is this diagram showing of course it is photosynthesis right are you able to tell me what is a look okay a goes into the leaves okay if you want to, I can draw 
the stomata as well, right? Let's just draw a couple of stomata. Let's just pretend that this is the underside of the leaves. Goes into the stomata. You got the answer? Carbon dioxide. So what is B? Now the process of photosynthesis, three condition is required, light, carbon dioxide, water, right? And what is produced? Sugar, which is the food, and oxygen. So if gas, carbon dioxide enters, what is produced? This will be oxygen. Okay, I hope that's not too confusing. Look at the diagram here. See, the arrow is going up and down, basically going to all parts of the plants. Okay, we know that plants need food, and food is transferred, if you still recall your P5 work, through the food carrying tubes to all parts of the plants. So most likely, or rather, the answer for C is food. And that leaves D. What is D? That enters the leaves. Okay, let's do a check. I've got light. I've got carbon dioxide, okay, produces oxygen, produces food. What is missing in order for photosynthesis to occur? D would most likely be water. Do you get the correct answers? All right. So this is the process of photosynthesis. I hope it's not too difficult. If you have any questions, you can ask me uh, when I'm in class, all right, when, when, we meet, when we see each other in class. Okay, that's all for today's lesson on photosynthesis, short and sweet. Okay, once again, three conditions required for photosynthesis to occur. Light, carbon dioxide, and water. Basically, the plants takes in, uh, or through, uh, taking in carbon dioxide through the stomata and water. And with the presence of light, which is uh, which chlorophyll, again, please do not forget how to spell chlorophyll, C-H-L-O-R-O-P-H-Y-L-L, -L. chlorophyll helps to trap the sunlight. Okay, with all these three, photosynthesis occurs and produces oxygen and food for the plant, which is also called sugar. All right, that's all for a simple illustration of what is photosynthesis. Thank you, everybody.